we modify the list at hand. Okay, so that's dif the difference between uh, those two. Now, one sec, guys. I just need to count how many functions I've done. I've done three now. Okay, good. Uh, so just one more for this tutorial, which is the index function. Um, or index method. Damn, I keep doing that. It's so annoying. Uh, anyways, let's delete my list two because we don't actually need it. Um, it's just taking up memory at the moment. And now uh, we'll use the index method. The index method allows us to um, search for a value. Okay. So, sorry, it, we supply it a value and it searches for that value. And if it finds the value, it gives us the index at which it found that value. And it takes into account the zero offset as well. So if I search for 5 now, it would give me back the index number of 4 because 5 is actually at the 4th index because of the 0 offset. It wouldn't give me 5 and then I'd have to minus 1 off the number when I indexed it. Okay, So let's search for 5 and as I said it's, it we get 4. So I could store uh, index of 5 equals mylist.index and mylist.index, the index method does return something because it printed something out there obviously so it returns something. Uh, and now I could say I could index my list with the index of 5 variable and I'd get the value 5 okay um, now whoops sorry um, if I just type my list dot, whoops not extend index you'll see uh, we get a pop-up of the excuse me uh, of the parameters that the index method takes um, we get the value parameter and two optional parameters which are the start and stop parameters which basically allow us to specify um, a beginning and an end to the search so if I said search for the value 5 but I said um, now I forget how this works whether it takes into account the zero offset or not I'll, uh, I'll hope it does and I'll say 0 to 3 and okay as expected it doesn't find it but if I say uh, index 5 0 to 4 it doesn't find it um, maybe it is one yeah maybe it does take into account um, Let's search for 1, uh, from 1 to 1. Does it find it? No, okay. Um, okay, that does explain. I think I know why it's... Uh, this, is, this is probably another one where it does it like so. Yeah, okay, I get it. So the last uh, number doesn't take into account the zero offset, but the first one does. So if I search for 5 again, 0 to 4 would normally find it, wouldn't it? Because obviously 5 is at index 4. We got that from the function here. We've got proof of that there. So it should um, find it using that. But because the uh, stop number isn't taking into account the uh, 0 offset, then if we put 5 there, we do get it. Okay, so um, that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Over and out.